What a great day for Sioux Falls today, especially downtown. Today we're here to celebrate the announcement of another great investment uh, in our downtown through the selection of Lloyd Companies as the redevelop, uh, developer of choice for this property that we're standing on today. So congratulations, Lloyd Companies. Investments like this span multiple generations and are the result of thoughtful efforts and partnerships on the behalf of private developers and, and local government. Uh, to provide you a little bit more background on how we've gotten to this point today, I'd like to have Mike Cooper come up and just offer some remarks. Mike? Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I have been designated the historian of the group, so um, it's really an exciting day. Yes. Um, this, this celebration today reminds me of another celebration that we had back in 2004. And that's when we dedicated this street out here that we marketed as Phillips to the Falls. Uh, that was discussed for many, many years. And it finally got done through the efforts of a lot of folks. Some are here today, some are not with us anymore. And we acquired an old salvage yard. We removed railroad tracks. Does that sound familiar, Mayor? Okay. And we created this fantastic gateway into the north side of downtown. Uh, we created what we now call Falls Park West. And since that time, we've seen not only development downtown occur, but we've seen investment heading in this direction. Uh, look what Raven Industries have done over the years, along with our Greenway improvements and the 6th Street uh, enhancements that we've done. We've done the Phillips Avenue Lofts, another Lloyd Company project. Uh, we have the Jones 421 project going on now. So we've seen that momentum gradually moving in this direction. And there's more good things to come that, that we'll probably talk about with the Levitt project and, and others. So. What you're going to see unveiled today is uh, exactly what the vision uh, that was brought out in 2004 of what this area could be. And so when you look at these pictures and you hear what's going to be unveiled today, just remind yourself of what this used to be and the effort that went through from previous folks to get us where we are today. So again, I want to congratulate everybody too because I think this is going to be great, not only for downtown Sioux Falls, but for the entire city of Sioux Falls as well. Thanks, Mike. This $43.5 million investment, let me say that again. Please. This $43.5 million investment is something that our residents, businesses, and visitors can all appreciate. It'll create living, working, uh, retail opportunities and provide us another anchor in Uptown. This development provides value well beyond the intersection of 2nd and Phillips behind us here today. Its effects, its residents, its employees will create the additional density necessary to support the continued revitalization of Uptown. This development is the result of years of planning and recognizes a vision that saw this area transform from a heavy industrial scrapyard, as you can see on some of our old photographs over here to my right, into what will be a beautiful gateway into our downtown and a great complement to our Falls Park West and the soon-to-be Levitt Shell. About one year ago, city staff began reviewing where opportunities existed to continue development in, in downtown Sioux Falls and create living and working opportunities. Living opportunities in downtown are one of the greatest economic um, enhancements that we've seen over the past decade. People living in downtown are what create economic opportunity every single day, every single night, every single weekend. So this project really captures what we were seeking uh, to find through this redevelopment proposal. In March, we issued the RFP and received five responses. Uh, the review committee, consisting of four city staff and one city council representative, unanimously selected the Lloyd proposal 
for the redevelopment of this site. They quickly rose to the top as this design complemented the adjacent Falls Park West, created the greatest density of development, and improved the surrounding infrastructure and removed environmentally contaminated and blighted areas. Everybody take a look back behind us here. Through this redevelopment, we'll not only redevelop the dirt we're standing on today, we will knock these buildings down behind us. We'll clear any contamination, get rid of those, and build two new grand buildings in its place. Uh, as if the project continues on its current schedule, by Halloween, we'll have a hole in the ground right behind us here. These buildings will no longer exist. So as we, as we move forward, I'd like to invite Chris Thorkelson from Lloyd Companies, their president and CEO, to share a few details about the, this investment uh, and uh, just anything else. Chris? Thank you, Thanks, sir. sir. Thank you, Darren. Um, before I share anything about the project, there's a few people that uh, I want to thank. Uh, Mayor Huther, of course, for your leadership and trust in Lloyd Companies, uh, community development, uh, the city staff, Councilor Christine Erickson, who was a part of the selection committee and the team responsible for the due diligence process. Uh, my mentor, Craig Lloyd, for his leadership and commitment to stay focused in the redevelopment of Uptown and also his continued investment in downtown. A friend who passionately helped initiate the redevelopment of Falls Park, Mr. Steve Metley. My now colleague, Erica Beck, along with all of the past city staff who were a part of and supported the revitalization of Phillips of the Falls. Our longtime partner and architect, Vandewall Associates, for exceeding our expectations in design. And lastly, my family, the Lloyd family, and my family of colleagues at Lloyd Companies who are here today. The collaborative efforts of all those people that I, I mentioned and, and many more are the reason why we're here making this announcement today, so thank you. The development that we're proposing to construct is a modern mixed-use lifestyle project with 20,000 square feet of commercial and retail space uh, with a boardwalk feature running parallel to Phillips. We'll have 200 apartment homes, 260 underground parking spaces heated, and 150 plus public surface parking spaces. We have over 50,000 square feet of exterior recreation and indoor community space with amenities that include an extensively landscape, courtyard, large lawn, outdoor pool, community kitchen, grilling space, multiple outdoor patios at various levels and various views, indoor gathering space, well-equipped exercise facilities, along with bike storage and a simple repair shop. Pending support from the Planning Commission and City Council, construction of Phase 1 will begin yet this fall, as Darren alluded to and hopefully will be complete by 2019, prior to the first or concert at the Levitt Pavilion. As a company, we continue to believe in the city's long-term vision to clean up and support revitalization of Uptown to, Phil or to Falls Park. And we're honored to be a part of bringing that vision to life. Thank you, Mayor. Again, our gratitude to you, Mayor Huther, city staff, and the selection committee for this opportunity. Thank Good you. Job, Chris. Thank you, Thank buddy, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Chris, and the entire team at Lloyd Companies. We know you could have easily invested your, your time and uh, talent and treasures in any number of communities in the region, whether it's Des Moines or Omaha or throughout South Dakota. Um, your continued investment in Sioux Falls is fantastic, and we look forward to that for years to come. Next, I'd like to introduce the mayor of Sioux Falls, Mike Huther, who's been just a champion of downtown development, and, and this is just another great example. Mayor? Thanks, Jared. Thank you. Craig. Craig. Young Buck. Well, good morning, uh, Sioux Falls. Uh, thanks so much for, for being here today. Uh, I wanted to bring the, uh, the more mature, more experienced uh, Lloyd <laughs> Buck uh, to my left and uh, the young visionary uh, to, my, to my right. Um, Folks, uh, I know Mike gave you a little history uh, that's a little longer than, than my term as your mayor. What I'm going to do is I want to bring you back just to 2010 uh, because talk about the, the dreaming, the vision, the leadership, the investment, the risk, uh, the, the sweat, the pain. Um, 
Uh, I'm going to take you back to 2010. One of the very first things that I had the opportunity to, to work on with the help of Darren Smith was bringing in uh, Craig Lloyd uh, in, into our office. And what we talked about was that Craig and, and the Lloyd team always had this vision of uptown and what they wanted to do. Uh, but of course, there were some challenging economic times uh, uh, at the time, 2008, 2009, 2010. Uh, Darren and I, we specifically asked Craig, you know, Craig, come on, uh, we've got to make this happen. Uh, we need your, your investment. We need your leadership. We need your risk taking. Let's go, Craig. And he did. Uh, he did. He, he made that commitment. He had made that commitment earlier and then he followed through. And folks, you can see it in some of the investments that uh, that are as we're coming on, uh, coming into to Falls Park West here. You see what what he's done. Um, but it didn't stop there. Uh, as Darren mentioned, uh, he made they made great investments in in our downtown along the River Greenway and so much more. Now, uh, with the help of uh, the younger, uh, even still aggressive, energetic uh, Lloyd team, uh, now they want to do more. Uh, they want to make an even bigger difference in in our great city, and this 40 million plus investment will help make that happen. Now, Sioux Falls and Sioux Falls taxpayers, Sioux Falls citizens, I also need to let you know that we do do this in a collaborative effort. Uh, the bulk of the risk taking is certainly on the shoulders of this man, of this man, and the Lloyd team. No doubt, no doubt. The the risk, the sweat, the pain, the fear. Uh, all of that work is squarely on the shoulders of the Lloyd team. However, citizens of Sioux Falls, we're part of it as well. We are. Um, we are recommending that we utilize TIF for this particular project once again. Uh, and that shows that collaborative effort. It shows that we're all in this together. It shows the need that, that if you work together, you can get crap done in government, in, in a great city, and all at the same time, cleaning up real crap like what's behind us right in here. Folks, we can't take you in those buildings. We can't. Uh, the stuff that's in there is, is not good. Uh, and it was put there in, from generations way before us. Uh, and, and you can't get away with that stuff today. Uh, but the good news is that uh, thanks to the dreaming and the investment of folks like these, uh, we're going to not only clean that up, uh, but we're also going to make it something grander than it's ever been. Uh, so again, thank you uh, taxpayers of Sioux Falls for this partnership uh, in, in TIF, in this investment. Uh, Craig, Chris, Lloyd team, my gosh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, you you've not given up in, in any way, shape or form. You just keep dreaming bigger. Um, and, and I'm just proud to be a small part of it. Dang it, though, you couldn't get it done before I was done being the mayor. Uh, <laughs> We're trying. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but uh, truly, truly, thank you. And and um, then get ready because you haven't seen anything yet. Uh, the things that we're talking about that's yet to come, not only in this uptown, Falls Park West, uh, but sincerely, uh, look to the east, look to the west, look to the south, and continue to look to the north, cameras. Just do your little panoramic view, because in five years, it's going to be different. Stay tuned. Thank you, Sioux Falls. Thanks, Thanks you. Proud of you. Thank you. Proud of you. Thanks, Jerry. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Mayor, for your, for your comments. And uh, as we move forward, the next steps for this project, uh, we'll be presenting some informational uh, briefing to the Planning Commission today. Uh, it'll go for the Planning Commission's approval yet in September. We will seek the City Council's approval in September as well and, and plan on attending an informational to present this project in more detail to the citizens of Sioux Falls and the City Council at the first meeting in September and seek uh, the final approval in September 19th to keep this great project moving forward. Mm -hmm.